What's up, peeps? I had my first trick-or-treater. Uh, first of many to come. Uh, but in the meantime, trick-or-treating is, is, ends at 8 o'clock. So while I'm standing by for the kitties, I thought that I would pull a message from my yoga. Oh, hold on. I love it. Guess what? I had an angel and a devil. And when I opened the door, we both went, ah! I was just so happy to see that we both had the same costume. You see why I love Halloween? I just love it. So one time, like, adults can be kids and it's okay. No one's going to judge you, you know? Hold on. These are, I don't know, why is this messed up right now? Um, so let's get back to the reading. And uh, this is good because it'll bring like more joy into the reading. So this is my love boot camp deck, and it's just got a bunch of messages that I just, um, you know, got a channel. And let's see if something resonates. And if it doesn't, that's okay. Um, but if you're watching, there's a message in here for you. Ooh, lots of messages. Oh no, this is too much. We're gonna do it anyway. So your focus allows you to see and feel at the same time. So if you, I mean, you got to learn how to hone your focus to really get into that meditative state. But when you're in that zone, you can actually feel what you're envisioning. That's actually the key to manifesting. And that's your green light. So if you're thinking of how to manifest, just remember you have to feel it. You can't just put it on a wall on a picture and say, I want that. You actually have to feel that you have it. Feel that you're wealthy. Feel that you're in the perfect relationship. Feel that you already got the job of your dreams. See yourself in that, in that house. Remember, pamper yourself today. You deserve a break. So maybe see yourself on a vacation somewhere. Or enjoy Halloween. <clears throat> go, go give out some candy. I thought I had another one. Um, <laughs> this is what the battle. This won't be easy. So buckle your spiritual seatbelt and try to enjoy the journey. Well, well, this is why I call this the boot camp deck. Because there are a lot of messages in here that are like, you know what? Nothing's going to get you through this but hard work. No, no, no hocus pocus. No, no. Sometimes you can't manifest your way out of your lessons. How about that? You can't manifest yourself out of your karma. So you have to learn to accept that so you can move on and then have your clear focus so that you can get the green light to move forward on what you want. And then pamper yourself while you do it because manifesting takes a lot of energy out of you. Go to church. Go outside. I was outside. I was going to be outside for most of the night, but it's too cold, like headache cold. And I like the cold. So if I say it's cold, it's cold. But somebody uh, watching this needs to go outside more. Church is not just in a building. Now, in fact, I've never considered church to be a building. How can you? Uh, never mind. Let's go. Let's keep going. Um, new personality, new reality. And the new personality is like somebody's developing their personality. To me, it's becoming newer because it's being shifted or buffed and polished. And when you start to, to change your personality, you change your energy because you're going to attract who you are. So um, your, your reality will be different. New personality, you're going to have a whole new reality because you're going to attract all that you see yourself as. It's a lot of messages. I was going to give a quick one, but um, love the the love boot camp journey begins. So the reason why you have to, you know, go through this because it'll be worth it is because somebody watching this is about to go through <laughs> possibly the dark night of the soul <laughs> in terms of the heart. Godspeed on that one because woo, it is easy. In this case, failure is not failure is not an option. So you got to go through it. In this case, it's if it, there's no other choice but to go through the battle. And a couple more. Oh, blank! Make a wish. So on the count of three, make a wish. Okay, one, two, three. Make your wish. 
All right. I made my wish. I hope you made yours. Uh, let's see. We got, wow, we got three left. Okay. This could particularly pertain to air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Pay attention. This message, if you're not any of these signs, you don't have to be. Could be somebody um, with this, with these placements or in your chart somewhere. So if it's not your sun sign, you know, check your rising. Or it could be somebody um, that's in your energy. Okay. I'm trying to make this quick. Control is not love. Control Control over emotions, control over choices, control over oneself. Control is not love. The only thing you have control over are your emotions, your choices, and yourself. And good luck with that. Because when you've mastered the ability to control yourself, please get on a platform. Please open, develop a, or create a YouTube channel and preach how you do it. Because a lot of people don't know how. And how dare they then go to try to control everything else around them when they can't even master themselves. Riddle me that. Last message. Overjoyed! I love this. This is how I love to feel overjoyed. And you know what? This is possible every single day of your life. Every single day of your life. Overjoyed. More than enough. All the time, every single day. So don't give up because, you know, you're, you're learning probably the probably the lesson that the battle that you have to go through is probably learning that you only have control of yourself and not others. But you got to go through it because wishing it away, pay for it to go away, um, hocus pocus in it away. You know, there's not enough sage one can burn to get away from what they need to learn if you want to develop. So, and it seems like you are because it seems like, your journey, the tough times may just be beginning, but it's okay because you've got the heads up and you've got the tools. And if this resonates, you know this is you. And you know that this failure is not an option, right? But throughout it, if you sometimes if you see a deer, you know, that's a that's a reminder that deer's new beginnings, but a deer is also gentle. So remember to be gentle with yourself, right? Could possibly be concerning an air sign, right? Somebody who's acting different, <laughs> maybe because they're spending more time in church. That'll change your personality. That'll change your energy field. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. So go ahead and start to really feel what you're thinking. Because, and, and remember, the negative stuff can manifest too. So if you're feeling regret, remorse, anger, jealousy, envy, all that, you're going to manifest more of that. So stop doing that. Oh my God, if people really knew the power of their thoughts, you know, they try to control at least a portion of it. You've got the green light. You've got the green light on all of this. So you've made your wish. I hope it'll help you through whatever journey you're going through here. And I hope this message helps. I hope you had a beautiful day. I hope you did something fun. And I hope you're out there giving keys.